after such focused and uh, stimulating deliberations we just heard. Um, my special thanks to Minister Suresh Prabhu for sharing his perspective, but more important, importantly, his personal involvement in the entire event, presence and participation here, clearly demonstrates the importance of the government of India placing in our relations with the ASEAN countries. I must also thank the excellencies from uh, ASEAN countries, General Singh, Mrs. Rita Teotia, for uh, being present uh, this evening with us. And clearly, uh, all of you are a special, uh, you know, it, it bears a testimony to the strong ties that India has developed with the ASEAN region. 25 years of our dialogue partnership uh, is, is uh, being celebrated, and I'm sure the next 25 years is going to be even more exciting and more fruitful uh, to all of us. The session today highlighted uh, the role of trade between ASEAN and India relationships. The region has strong consumer markets, and with a with quarter of the world's middle class residing here, offers great opportunity to industry and trade. The consistent GDP growth rates uh, in the range of four and a half to five percent over the past few years is ensured is ensuring that this, this region is becoming the fastest growing regions of the world. It has the largest uh, working age population, right culture to foster entrepreneurship, a dynamic industry, geographical proximity of the member countries, and more importantly, higher global demand, healthy labor markets, and rising commodity prices support the GDP growth to reach 4.9% this year. Um, I'm also... Um, I want to share the, the, the few key areas for collaboration which have been discussed. Uh, primarily agriculture, crop diversification. We just heard about the seeds, and I believe hybrid seeds are one of the great opportunities for Indian companies to look at ASEAN countries. Energy resource sector, digital connectivity, tourism. And, uh, and here I must uh, uh, express uh, that we need to work very closely to have seamless connectivity air and land uh, routes uh, should open up so that we see more and more tourism and especially the religious tourism uh, between ASEAN countries and India. Uh, also, I believe uh, cross-border investments and regional value chains are something which we can build together. Seamless connectivity will uh, certainly create a stronghold for trade and investment to be facilitated. And I'm very hopeful that we will have positive outcomes as well as conclusive steps being identified to foster in a new era of seamless trade and investments. I strongly believe shared culture, shared religious, um, uh, and shared, uh, shared religion and shared prosperity will continue to be the core of India-ASEAN partnerships in future as well. And I'm sure we will all work together to see that not only this 25 years get celebrated, but more importantly, the people of India and ASEAN region benefit from it the most. Thank you very much and have a great evening.